Pop Cop Sun Duty, and today we have a collab video with several other channels with some popping off toys mystery boxes. Be right back. What's up, everybody? It's a Pop Cop back again with this chump over here, Bailey. Wish. All right. Instead of doing a box battle, we're doing a collabor a collaboration video with several other channels, the community. They'll all be listed in the description. I didn't write them down beforehand, so they'll all be in the description. Slacking today. Okay, these boxes were from Poppin' Off Toys. They were $9.99. I'll put the the hit shot over Bailey over here. I think it was for St. Patrick's Day. Why okay. Me? You're just sitting there seeing this yourself anyway. Alright, now I don't know if everybody Is that else. That's a note that I was trying to read last video. Yes, I got an email <laughs> from Poppin' Off Toys. I just printed it out. I'm gonna put it over here. Ahead. It says, Bobby, I wanted to take a moment and thank you for participating in our Luck of the Drop mystery box. I know the odds were extremely low and you most likely will go from the excitement of what if to a small disappointment, but I wanted to offer you another perspective and maybe another feeling. Your purchase of this box was great, has greatly helped Poppin' Off Toys continue to dig out from under tough circumstances. Your purchase has greatly helped my family and the families of our two employees. Your purchase wasn't an inventory dump, but investment into our future. In, in addition to our focus on mid-range and Grail Funko Pops, we have begun carrying Pokemon, Magic, and Lorcana trading card games. We're not Disney people. We also will help. We also will begin to look for other collectible figures to partner with and cheer on. This company is a dream come true for me, and I plan on doing this for a long time. We aren't giving up, so thank you so much. If you like the service you got, here are a couple other ways you can get involved. We have three weekly drops on our website, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 8 Eastern. We release a group of mid-range and grill Funko Pops. This is your best chance to get a missing piece of your collection. The next big Pokemon Magic or Lorcana release, consider us as an option. We are slowly getting into this game, and we will have the next releases for each. The next time a conversation about Pops or TCG comes up, drop our name to friends. We'd love to serve, serve them. Lastly, if you have any advice or recommendations, I am all ears. I don't pretend to be an expert in this field, and I'm always looking to learn and get better. Any feedback is welcome, good or bad. Enjoy your Pops, and thank you for investing in us. Wes Howard, popping out tools. Now, I never knew... The fact that it took the five hours out of his day and probably did the right thing. I'm sure he just... It's one and they changed the name to send out. But, I mean, it was still really cool that he didn't do that. Now, I didn't know... I was just buying a couple of mystery boxes. I didn't know that about this whole... The financial hardships or anything like that. I was just... But... Was I not listening to the number? Like, what? Why did they say financial... Something, some, I guess something happened with their company, and they're apparently the three grails he was trying to he put in the mystery boxes to make money for the company. We only, I only got two boxes because we had a lot of stuff coming up, but after we got done with all our stuff, I went back on to get a couple more, but they're already sold out. But we got two from the first drop. I think somebody already got the the two. Uh, I know they broke the thousand boxes up into three different groups of 333. I think these are both from the first drop. And I think somebody already got the top hit in that one. <laughs> I think it was Mr. Incredible. Mr. Incredible. Yeah, I mean, we're not Disney people anyway. I would have... If I would have got it, I would either traded it or sold it. So. Alright, you wanna open one? You wanna open one? I know some other people bought boxes. Some other people in the in the collab videos, they bought several boxes from the different drops. 
like I said, we had back-to-back -back volleyball tournaments. We just got back from our trip to Lubbock, so I just bought a couple. Cool if it's at least like marble or something I can keep at the collection. Oh, Candyman. I might actually keep this one. I do have a couple horror pops. You ever seen Candyman? Popping up. I have bought mystery boxes from Popping Up Toys before. But back when we were doing the regular channel. Yeah, we were doing a lot of mystery boxes back then. Get so many pops, I can't get rid of them. I see the red Oh, it's a turtle one. We have this one. Yeah. There's the whole set. I actually got the yeah. shredder right here, son. Super shredder. Ready? You just catch it, right? What's his name? Oh, Radar. Dude. Bruh. Anybody else have a kid that the bubble wrap? All right, guys, that's what we got. Go check out the other channels because they're all opening probably more boxes than this. Like I said, we just got we got two because we had so much stuff coming up. I wanted to join in and help out. <laughs> Bro. There's a two pops. Probably keep this guy. Where'd he get him? Who didn't have him? I keep him. I think this, this one is a chase, doesn't it? It could be wrong. I threw it and I expected it to like land right in front of me, but it went wee! Go ahead and get it. Alright, guys, check out the other videos and go support Popping Off Toys. I haven't had any issues with them, they've been good to me. Popcast 1042. Uh.